Imagine this. You're stuck in snow, no internet, and you need AI. Sounds like a problem, right? Well, not if you know how to run AI models locally. Today, I'll show you how to download and run AI models locally in your system. I'm Stephen Thomas, and let's get started. Hello, to get started, let's head over to their website. The website is ollayame.com. Click on enter and you'll be in their home page. Click on the download button and download it for the, your operating system. I'm using Mac OS, so I'll be downloading it for Mac OS. Let's wait for a while. Once downloaded, open the file and hit on the zip file to unzip it. Once unzipped, we'll see the application with 445 megabits. I'm going to double click on the application so that it can open up. The initial setup needs a click or two of open. I'm going to move it to the applications and I it's still verifying a few items. Ta-da! We are in the application. Let's hit on next. So it says that install on the command line. We'll have to type O L L A M A Olama to access their model. So I'm gonna install the model. Type your password, hit on OK, and run this command on your favorite terminal. I'm gonna open up terminal and I'm gonna copy this command and I'm gonna paste it here. It's pulling the data from their repository. Let's wait for it to be completed. A few moments later. Okay, seems like the installation is success. I'm gonna hit on finish. And that's it, I believe. Yes, that is it. So we have successfully downloaded a AI model into our local system. But what if we need a specific model to be run? So we go to their GitHub page, which is github.com slash llama slash llama and go to their main repository. And if you go down to their model library section, in readme you can see that there are a plethora of models that we can run in our local system so if we want to run deepseek's r1 model it is of 4.7 gb and we can run the full width full size deepseek r1 model but it has a size of 4 104 meg gigabytes that's a huge data storage which is needed to be installed in our system they they are they also have gamma and everything else not everything but most of the open openly available models so i would prefer to run the deep seeks r1 models so how do i do that i just copy the command head back to my command line i'll have to exit from this oh i'm not sure how to exit so i'll quit the program by commands so it says to quit use control and d so control and d to quit and paste llama run deep seek r1 i'm gonna hit on enter so it will start pulling the model from the internet and store it in our local device i'll move my face here so that won't interfere this hey let's wait for it to get downloaded So we have successfully installed DeepSeek's R1.
in our local system. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this terminal so that we don't have anything running. I'm going to close everything out. I'm going to head to Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn that off as well. So this is an offline system that I'm using. I'm opening up terminal, hitting on enter, and I'm going to type Olana run deep seek R1. I'll make it into full screen and I'm going to hit on enter. There's nothing to be downloaded and we can now use deep seek R1 offline. I'm going to type hello who are you? Let's wait for the response. I should make sure that the answer is clear and gives both Fahrenheit and Celsius to cover all bases. Also, it's good to mention the scale for those might be needed. No biggie. I can keep it simple and straightforward without any complicated stuff. Water and the final answer that they gave us is water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit. This is the temperature known as the freezing point of water under standard atmospheric pressure. It is really interesting to see what they think initially. So it is as if they are talking to themselves and trying to understand what a user, which is me in this case, is trying to ask them. So it's trying to think they are asking for the freezing temperature of water what all degrees or scales they want the answer in and they can i mean it came into a conclusion that i will be showing it in degrees and celsius sorry fahrenheit and celsius and at the end it gives us a concise answer that water freezes at zero degree celsius or 32 degree fahrenheit this temperature is known as a freezing point of water under standard atmospheric pressure so as you can see we'll get the responses and what it thinks without using the internet isn't that cool you can try it out i'll leave you all the links in the description below this video check out 